Shalom and welcome with Bindranovsky. So after a long message the last time about the madness of this world with surveillance and control, now a shorter word, a prophetic message. It's much better a word from Yeshua than about the world or the political clown show. It came to me on day 26 in the seventh month of the secular year 2024 uh, around noon, 12 o'clock or so. Some of it is metaphorical or symbolic, uh, others a little bit more direct. So I asked you to pray before listening or reading that the Holy Spirit will lead you through all of it in wisdom and understanding. So I jump now into it and I'm reading. One day, yes, one day I will arrive, I will come. Some people will love it, others will be horrified. But there is still a group with different groups left aside. They are the ones who argue back and forth about theology, whether my coming has to be pre, mid or post-tribulation. They create timeline charts in order to fit their narrative and understanding of scripture. Hanoch had a relationship with me, as any husband would dream and desire of his bride and wife. When in this world, even married coupled, husband and wife in churches quarrel against each other about my coming, it shows they don't understand me nor my concept of a marriage and the desire to be united as one. Whether they believe in pre, mid or post, how far are they away from being a person with a relationship I desire from someone who claims to love me? Keeping my commandments is only one portion of the mirror that shows how deep you truly love me. Spending time with me is another portion. Love your neighbor is another facet. For more, look at King David, how he was able to become and remain a man after my own heart, even with all his failures. How can people say they love their spouse when they make me smaller than a mouse? When my bride finally comes to maturity in faith and in love like Hanoch, do you think it matters to me if your tribulation or rapture or non-rapture theology is right or wrong? If your wife loves you as much as Hanoch loved me, would you let her walk through a world of insanity and horror with daily nightmares? especially if you would have the power and authority to keep her from any harm? If your theology is this tiny Babylonian box, then I will pray for your bride, your wife, and give her the wisdom to explain to you my power and my authority. Sadly, many of you have a wife that loves you as Jezebel loved Ahav. It might confuse you to know what to do with her, but as Ahav in his lethargy, you need to repent and fear me, so you will gain a heart of wisdom and knowledge. Without it, you will just let her do what she likes and wants. Ahav was a man who did not know his calling, nor his power and authority. So Jezebel took over with ease and the results of both is written in the scrolls. Many men do better to dwell in the corner of the house as the constant dripping roof don't wear away the stone of icy cold hearts, but only fill up water in buckets that are full of holes. Useless discussions about nothing lead to a vacuum of vanity. I am coming when my father sends me, though I know it when it shall be, because I and my father are one, but for the sake of righteousness, I refuse to know the day and the hour. You may act differently in your lukewarm love, but for me, I will ask you this. If your bride would be filled with hot fire of true love towards you, would you not want to take her as soon as possible to be with you in a safe place, regardless the theological discussions around you? Would you heed to the people who say, She's too young for you, and then don't take her? Or would you neglect her of other people's opinion, saying she is of a different race and culture than you? Would you reject her or look 
for someone else when your jealous neighbor says she is too beautiful for you. I have no greater desire for the moment to come when I can hold my bride in my loving arms. And how hard is it to wait? I was not able to wait taking Hanoch home to be where I am. Why shall I hesitate because of your theological arguments about my bride? I'll leave you behind and let you continue to quarrel and discuss until your tongues are tattered, lest you turn to me in honest repentance. I leave all those behind who think in their pride and self-righteousness, they know everything and know everything better than anyone else. Even the prostitute and the drug addict who repents without a clue of theology, I will pick before you, O oh hypocrites in church pews, and all the proud I see only from afar. My arm is not too short to save. Those few in this world who have found a precious wife, a virtuous woman, know she might have some flaws, as this fallen world causes endless possibilities to leave marks and wounds in hearts, souls and minds. I know my bride and see of what is dirt from the enemy at the surface, which can be washed away with ease and what is pride, selfishness and rebellion inside the hearts that needs a deep surgery in the coming refining fire. To wash dirt from the surface is a simple, very quick cleansing, yet an important one to snatch her out right in time before the trial that is about to come upon the entire world. One day, yes, one day very soon, you shall see and know where you stand yourself Your heart will testify if you will love it or be horrified. Not as soon as some claim, but not that late as others think. Time is running fast and the speed of time increases as knowledge and lawlessness increase. Time will not tell. I tell the time what to do. You can't see time and yet time is running before you. Your time is in my hand. And if you don't look at my hands, you don't know the moment when your day and hour has come. But if you look through the holes in my hands, you can see my kingdom coming. If you look at my side and the water and blood flowing out, you can see the power of my blood and the river of living waters. So why are you quarreling about my coming? I am coming and my arrival has nothing to do with theology but with love and my bride. All right, that was the word. Not that long. I leave it up to you to pray and make yourself ready for the day and hour when Yeshua will return. May he will arrive into the hearts of many prostitutes and drug addicts. Though I've never been in these environments, uh, which must be terrible, but I pray that many of them will find a way the truth and the life and finally be counted as Yeshua's bride. So I wish you loads of blessings and Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.